What is happening, people? It is Brian Alls with NeverState.com, and welcome back to a training video. It's been a long, long time since I've done a training video, so uh, I figured, yeah, it was time. I guess time. Uh, man, apparently we're rusty. So first things first, I just need to thank you guys so much for all of the support. When you guys responded on the medical mystery video where I explained that I have worms and all that kind of stuff, man. I cannot tell you how much love and support I feel from you guys. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, to be honest, my mom was crying. My mother-in-law were crying just because they could not believe how much this community actually cares and supports me. So guys, I, I really, I can't ask for more. So thank you guys so much. Just quick update on that. I did finish out my round of deworming pills or whatever it is. Uh, do not feel any better at all yet. Um, that might, that might not be completely true. I'm still throwing up every single day, uh, still going through all that. I will say that maybe it feels a little bit better, whether it's placebo effect. I do think absolutely that the uh, dewormer absolutely killed some worms, but I think there's probably a good number of those little buggers in there. So I actually leave tomorrow to go do another New York trip with my wife um, to go check out for more worms and uh, probably a couple of those. I'll probably need to do a couple cycles of the actual deworming process. So uh, right now, I'm just kind of in a rebuilding phase. So this whole week's of video is going to be just kind of me trying things out. I'm doing different things to see what'll work for me, what won't work for me, and I just need to pretty much go from there. It really does feel very much like I'm starting over in some ways, but then in other ways, it just feels like so amazing that I have an actual future. But I will hopefully get more information this weekend when I am in New York, and then next week, is the Lion State Classic. So I'll be up in Philly with a bunch of you, just whether you guys are spectating or competing or whatever is going on, I am so pumped for that. That is going to be such a great time. I hope you guys are prepared and you're going into your deload now. I also just want to say thank you for all of the overwhelming support and the response for the Mass Builder video and everyone who's emailed me. Guys, I will get to you guys your programs. I just, it's so amazing that you guys like something that I came up with in my brain. I am so pumped about it. And I truly hope that there are a ton of you who can set that up on your own for free and you guys get amazing results from it, all right? So, man, I'm just, I'm pumped about life. Very, very happy. So just like when I used to work out, um, I'm going to kick to the commentary, talk to you guys for a little bit, then I'll meet you right back up here afterwards for the video recap. Good morning, guys. Expect a drastic energy change here. So. Um, yeah, it's actually uh, the weekend morning and I'm getting ready to leave for New York and there's a bunch of things that we need to get done before I actually get to go do that. So um, in order to do that, one of those things is to get this video out for you guys because I always want you guys to have some sort of content uh, when I might be gone for a little bit. I will be back uh, Monday sometime while I'll be driving home. Depends what time we can get out of the city. I have to see another doctor now, which is going to be very, very cool. I'm excited about that. But um yeah, it's all going to depend on when we actually leave the city and when we can get home as to what else I can get out for you guys. But, um, yeah, so this is just going to be a training video, but it is early in the morning and I'm trying to be quiet so that I do not wake Kona and Nala up because if I do, then everything's uh, speaking of which. That is one common theme that I think everyone will notice throughout my entire videos is that uh, these dogs, uh, they do not want me to be a strong individual. You're going to see it. You're going to see it a lot in every single workout. They're literally, they're, they're sabotaging my, my success. All right, on to what we're doing here. So I was doing the pause deadlift for sets of five at 500 pounds. Um, not a massive weight for me, but I am deworming during all these workouts. Um, so a lot of this was just me testing to see what my stomach was and was not capable of. So a pause deadlift by nature is going to be a little bit lighter. I'm trying to keep things lighter right now. I'm trying to reset so that I can just rebuild some quality muscle as my body heals from all this damage that these stupid little things inside me have done. But doing uh, three pause deadlifts to three keg over bar, those kegs are 250 pounds. Um, and then there are single arm farmer's walks that I believe are somewhere between 185 to 205 pounds, something like that. Anyway, um, again, keeping things light, guys, just working through it. I'm having a little bit of problems with uh my backflip ankle if you guys remember that that thing that i did with juji and tom where they came out and we all tried to do backflips and i uh i jacked my ankle up pretty bad for about like six months trying oh look at that oh cat with the punt that was beautiful that was awesome and then nick uh yeah speaking of the farmer sandals that uh that was just a farmer sandals turn on its side but it kind of looked like a batman vehicle 
Anyway, totally lost my train of thought of what I was doing before. So, oh, the ankle. That's why I'm doing these Zercher, Zercher squats right here. Um, I am not a Zercher squat fan. I think there are better options if you have the right equipment. But if you don't have the right equipment, I will say that the Zercher squat is a good thing to be doing. Um, however, the reason why I am doing it on this day is because, like I said, I kind of jacked up my backflip ankle again. Uh, it was healed and was feeling pretty good. I was actually kind of able to run and jog a little bit. However, I fell off a rope during those ropes hanging there to the right. Yeah, fell off one of those uh, and kind of jacked my ankle up. So, um, yeah, that's a really nice view there. Anyway, I'm trying to show that on these, I do spread my legs at the back. And uh, that actually hits my obliques a little bit more than it does my abs. However, uh, I'm glad that I caught that so you guys didn't think I was just doing like a girl Instagram post there for that. But uh, that is exactly why I'm doing these Zercher squats. I do enjoy how they throw you forward and stuff like that. I am a fan of the Zercher yoke, which you're going to see later. But on this day, I was just keeping it light and attempting to just up the reps every single round. So I started out with like, I think, three reps or two reps, something like that. And I do a round, and then the next round I did three, then four, then five, then six, and seven, and so on. And sadly, as much as I hate to admit it, uh, it did actually make me sore in some ways. I have been sore in a while, but so does raking leaves. So I'm not saying it's good. I am saying that I'll probably be doing them a little bit more. So there you guys go. Also, sandbag carry and load over bar. Just trying to get movement going. Again, trying to work my ankle. Uh, I actually... A lot of people, when they will hurt something, they'll go to the physical therapist and they'll try to work it through range of motion and things like that. And I completely agree. I think blood heals. You need to get blood to it. And I'm totally down. The only problem is that I uh, don't really go to the physical therapist. I just throw myself in situations where it kind of tests it. Like this Zercher squat here. I couldn't really get down for like a front squat or even like a hands high SSB squat because the I guess the range of motion of my ankle just wasn't there yet. So instead, I did the Zercher squat and moved through that range of motion. Now, what you're going to see on this day is actually some more stuff. I had to do the Viking press because, again, I can't dip and drive on my ankle very well. Even this didn't feel spectacular. I got done this set and was just kind of like crying and limping around. But what I was just talking about with working through different ranges of motion. So what this is is a farmer's handle with a sled drag combined. And to that barn is about, I'd say, 100 yards, something like that. So uh, basic idea there is that I had 150 pounds in each hand and 150 pounds dragging behind me. And as I would walk, my ankle would work through different ranges of motion, especially because of the terrain that I was working with. I'm not just on a flat terrain. Every single step, my ankle is adjusting too far this way, too far that way. It creates a ton of pain. I'm not going to lie. However... Uh, my ankle always does end up getting better a little bit faster when I do things like that or strapping on some of my boots and going for a ruck or something like that through through rough territory. Just getting my ankle to go through those actual flexion and extension type of positions really does help a lot. Now, on this Viking press, I thought I was going to be strong enough to uh, strict press with Billy, but I am not yet. So my uh, strict press, Viking press, became a uh, push press. And then I moved on from there onto some of my every minute on the minute kind of technique work, which I'm working the log really hard right now because out of everything for my shoulder, that's where I'm having the most problems coming back for. So you guys are just seeing a lot of log work right now. Uh, I was doing at top very minute for 10 minutes. I was doing three presses. That is about 180 pounds, 185 pounds to a banded yeah, face pull. And I think I was doing 8 to 10 reps of that. And then the remainder of the minute I rest. I really use at that very minute, 4, 10 minute, or 12 minute, or 15 minute, or whatever, a lot in my training. Uh, after that, my assistance work, I was needed a little bit of time. So I'm really trying to work my chest because I've dropped a lot of mass throughout this entire process. Something you guys can try is doing squeeze presses like that where you push the dumbbells together until failure and then flip them out and do, do regular presses till failure. And trust me. That will absolutely smoke your chest. Do three sets of whatever you end up doing there with some heavy-ish to moderate weight. And uh, it really, really is a great way to finish off a chest day. Now, um, this is just kind of here because, yeah, I had this on Instagram showing you guys that uh, this is why I have trouble getting strong. It's because my puppies are big fans and uh, I am a huge fan of them. However, they really, really, really enjoy when I'm doing core exercises to try to 
play along and help me out however they can. You guys see how Big Kona is there. He is actually 115 pounds now. And baby Nala there on the left, she is, I think, probably about 85, 90 pounds. Um, she is a little runt, so I think she she might grow a little bit more, but not a ton more. Now Kona on the back there is uh he's done growing. That's that's his final form. He's a good boy though. I like him a lot. And now talking about the Zercher yoke, uh, it, again it was a day of testing things on my stomach. Between that belt around my waist, doing those farmer's walks, carrying that farmer's handles with the sled constantly jerking on my stomach, and then the Zercher squats, and then the Zercher. Uh, yoke carry. I was doing a lot to see what my stomach was going to handle. Uh, this day in particular, I had to kind of mash together because again, I'm leaving for New York, so I don't know if I'll get the chance to really train much on Monday. So I was doing some deficit deadlift. Again, I'm keeping it light because I'm resetting, just trying to build some quality muscle right now uh, because I know I've lost a lot of muscle mass and I know that my body is going through a ton. Look at that. That's a, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good vertical right there. Good job, Eric. But I know that I've lost a ton of body mass, and I know that my uh, body's just going through a ton of stress right now, trying to purge these things out of it and deal with it. I'm just so happy that I am on the correct road. We're trying to get me into a hyperbaric chamber that's supposed to really help with the healing of all this. Um, not really able to. Uh, none of this. None of these doctors. Guys, the more... Uh, specialized the doctors become the less and less they take insurance so none of this is taken by insurance none of my treatments are it's just uh it's something you have to deal with if you want to get better but that's the cost of uh having worms i suppose anyway uh yeah so i had to slam some things together because again i am going to the doctor to new york city right now uh, so my deadlift day, I was doing deficit deadlifts, keep it lighter, along with that inclined bench press with the log, which I'm trying to build mass on my chest. Just clipped the camera there on the Zercher yoke, but came back, yeah, made it. Was doing stone to shoulder, light stone, I think that was like 185 pounds, 200 pounds, types of weights like that. This is the 600 pound double. So, moved okay, not spectacularly. Wasn't super happy with it. This ended up being 290 to 300 pounds, something like that with the log because the log's not an exact weight. Or the log's an exact weight, but it's not like that. Anyway, um, yes. Uh, so pressing out five reps with the, let's just call it 290. Uh, feel really good about that, actually, because that is an extremely hard movement to move any weight on. So feel actually very good about how that is coming along. All of this is just explosives for the hips. The dragon flags, of course, for my abs. The Zercher yoke is for the soul and trying to push those little wormies out of my belly. Thank you guys for watching. All right guys, so I'm about ready to finish my workout. I just wanted to do a video recap real fast. As you guys can tell, it's kind of a hodgepodge of a bunch of things, mainly because of the fact that uh, I had to leave New York to go get more butt tests done. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just check out that medical mystery video from a couple times ago. Um, but since I have to do that, I'm going to be limited on how much time I will have to train between uh, today, this weekend, and Monday. So, um, should all be very, very good. Hopefully I'll get some good news there. Most likely I'll be doing another round of tests, but like I said, I am just kind of resetting and that's exciting in a lot of ways, uh, mainly just because I didn't think I was going to be making any progress forward again. I can guarantee you that the best me is yet to come. I am definitely gonna surpass everything that I did before. Uh, I don't know how long that'll take. It really depends on the worms. But don't get it twisted. There's absolutely nothing that is going to hold me back from going exactly where I want to go. I will catch you guys later in the week, but until I do, go out to something amazing with Keep working on our people. Be nice to each other. I'll see you then. Gigantopithecus! Gigantopithecus!